Wait, don't scroll, don't scroll. You're going to want to hear this. About 70,000 Christians are converting to Islam every single year. Why is this? As a Christian that converted to Islam myself, I could tell you that there are so many people out there that don't even know about Islam. People might look at Muslims and think something they've heard, they've seen, whatever. No, forget all that. What I want to tell you right now is what Muslims believe, and that is that God, the creator of everything, Allah, almighty God, he is only one without any partners, only one. Do not say that he is a trinity. Do not say that he has equals. This is shirk. This is the unforgivable sin. SubhanAllah. Number two, if you believe in the oneness of Allah and you believe in the prophets that he sent, and that includes Adam, the first human, all the way to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the last and final messenger. And if you believe in the holy books, the revelations Allah sent prophets with, like Prophet Moses, Prophet Jesus, <laughs> Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may peace be upon them all. And Muslims believe in the angels. There are angels with us at all times, at least only four. And last but not least, Muslims believe in the day of judgment. We believe that after the world has ended, all humans will be resurrected. Allah will raise us all up. And that is when the day of judgment will start. And we will all be judged for how we live this life on earth. See, we tend to forget that we didn't create ourselves. We tend to forget that death could happen any minute, could, in, tomorrow, 10 years, five minutes from now we think that we have so long and that we just can live our best lives this is so far from the truth so as muslims we know that we are living our lives to prepare for death to prepare for that day when we are judged and allah grants us either paradise or eternal hellfire this is not something that you want to play with you know we believe that Isa, Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, the Messiah, he will return. But he is not God. He is not the son of God. This is something that none of the earlier prophets said. Prophet Abraham, Prophet Moses, Prophet Noah, all these prophets we believe in, none of them ever said anything about Jesus coming to die for our sins or that God has a son or a daughter or a mom or a cousin. And, and this is just, this is outrageous see muslims we, we keep it simple you feel me we keep it simple the belief is simple that god is only one and that muhammad is the final messenger that he sent and that includes every prophet before starting with adam we have abraham prophet moses prophet noah and and so many more uh more like a hundred thousand hundred and twenty four thousand more so if this is the first time that you're hearing about islam i truly encourage you to find somebody that could help you move forward in knowing the truth, the truth of Allah, the truth that why we are here on this earth and what is our purpose.